Okay, so I've started recording. So are we okay if I get going? Yeah, please, please go ahead. Okay, so I'll start by uh, sharing my screen and hopefully if you can just, I won't be able to see your hands at the moment because of the way I'm presenting. So if you have any questions, do call out. Um, hopefully you can see the interface, but if you can just confirm that for me, that'll be great. It yeah, works. we can see. Okay, great. So FBIS was created in 1941 because the US decided it was a little bit insular and perhaps didn't really understand a lot of what was going on in the world, especially around the Second World War and perhaps the undercurrents of where that had come from. So they started by recruiting people all around the world who spoke both the native language and English. And they got them to translate all of the local news broadcasts and a lot of speeches and a lot of other open source material, which was then collated and sent back to the US and put into what they call the daily reports. So between 1941 and 1996, what you have is a lot of content that you won't find available anywhere else because it just wasn't made available. It's good from a perspective of um, looking at different viewpoints from around the world. So a good example that we often give when we talk about that is if you take the massacre in Tiananmen Square as an example, if you watch the broadcasts coming out of Moscow on those around that period, sorry, if you, if you um, look at the broadcasts coming out of China at that particular point, there is mention of trouble and protests, but n that all stops on the day of the massacre. But if you look at other countries uh, news broadcasts from around that time, you can see a lot of talk about it. And the only reason we all know about that was because of actually at the time there were another political leader visiting. So the press was. So there was a lot of uh, press traipsing around behind them. So this is the interface as it greets any user. And we've created a number of different ways of accessing the material within this. There is a basic search box, which you'll see here. And then we have below it an advanced search, which just expands to allow you to decide which fields you would like to search and also allows you to put in date ranges and a variety of different methods to be able to narrow that down. When carrying out a search at the bottom, we have a world map, so you can actually select to search content from a particular area. Now, what it's worth stating at this point is if you select, for example, Europe, you will search all of the reports that come from Europe. But what you won't be getting are the global perspectives of the issues you might be looking for, because reports that were written in Asia are based in Asia classified as coming from there and likewise South America. So you may say that you're looking for uh, opinions on what happened in say Cyprus as an example um, and you can get content that was collated from Cyprus by selecting Europe but you won't get what anybody else thought of that just by selecting Europe. You can expand that to select a particular country or a number of countries to search content from those. If you want, you can look at different article types, whether they're speeches, interviews, highlights, um, and whether there's expert verbatim excerpts, for example, from news broadcasts. And then you can also look at the various publication series titles. FBIS is split between 1941 and 1974. It is classified as a global file. It got so big that in 1974 they split it into regional sections. And so I'm currently in the 41 to 74 portion and I do have the ability to split slightly, but not as much if you were looking at a more um, the broader to up to 1996 where they stopped doing it partly because of the um, the advent of the internet. Interestingly, the BBC monitoring that we're just digitising carries on to 2001. Now, I spoke about 
there being different ways of searching and one another one of those I really like on here, which is events. Now, dependent on the levels of student you're working with, this can often be quite useful because if I just click on events, our editors have been through and have highlighted important events on a decade by decade basis for the collection. And if you click on one of those, and let's say I look at Cyprus gaining independence for Britain, it brings up for me all of the different reports that relate to that particular incident that we hold within here. So this is the results page and you can see on the left you get a sort of headline. You get where the sources come from and you'll see here that there are a range of different places. Now if we just selected Europe or Cyprus then obviously we'd have got this one here from Nicosia and the Cyprus Home Service but what we wouldn't have got was comments from Moscow, from Baghdad, We'd have obviously got London if we'd picked Europe, but not if we just um, picked uh, Cyprus. And then also you can see here there's content from Leipzig. But what we then have here, if I click on, you've got the date and where it's actually come from. But if I click on this one, which has actually come from Moscow, I'm then presented with the daily report as it was translated and presented. At the top, we've got that same headline and we've got the source, and in this case, Moscow and the Soviet Near Eastern Service, the date, and then there's a little bit of more information about the page number, etc. And you can show slightly less of that if you want to. Now below, we have the article and I've got on the left here, you can see I can make it bigger and smaller to make reading easier. I can rotate, so, so reset that. Um, I can go full screen and I can rotate it left and right. If I look at the article in the center, I get again the headline where it's come from, the date, and then I get the particular text. And in this case, we're looking at talks about military bases in Cyprus, um, when they will be um, talking about it. But what is very interesting about these different reports from around the world is actually often some of the phrasing that is seen within them. So they're quite useful from a social science perspective. And obviously this has come from Moscow. So we'll have a very Eastern perspective on things. And we've got knowing that the people of Cyprus who have not forgotten the long year of the British colonial yoke are against the British bases. Obviously, if you look at that report from commentary from a the same subject from elsewhere, you won't have the same type of speech. Once you're here looking at a particular article, at the top we have a number of different things that we can do with it. We can print that article, we can download it as a PDF, we can bookmark it, we can export the citation or we can email it. At the top of the screen you'll notice a view my collection, view my searches. That is because as you work within Newsbank, within Redex, it will save your searches for you and it will allow you to select and save those articles so that as you're working, you can build up and refer back to documents that you've been working with. Again, at the back here, you can see we can download the report as a PDF. Are there any questions about how this article is presenting at all? OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop back here. We've I've shown you how the events work. Peter, I think Sartaj, uh, Professor Sartaj had a question. OK, to... no, no, I just wanted to confirm that uh, everything is fine so far. Okay. I was looking for the, uh, the, the okay. button to okay. unmute myself. Please go on. OK, so that is how the events, which is often how we find some people start at a lower level research to sort of navigate their way through if they're being taught about particular subjects. But then you've got the searching. Now, if I just do a single word search. Um, perhaps gorilla and hit go. What I'm effectively doing is querying the entire database, as you would imagine, for the word gorilla. Now, I've got 6,800 results. And at the moment, I have them in chronological order, starting in 1941. And as you can see, we've got uh, 10 
10 results on a page. So I've got hundreds of pages. But at this point, I can start to narrow it down. So say actually I was just looking at studying, uh, looking at particular reports again from Cyprus. If I click that. And then just click go, I then immediately narrow that list of results down to any mention of reports about Cyprus coming out there and you can see that although they, this is coming out of Cyprus, it's coming out of the Athens office um, because it talks about Greece and Cyprus. And obviously there was, um, and then if I click on this top one, you can see this is um, come out of Athens, talk about use of force. So it's, you can see there is varying quality on the reports dependent on where they came from and what was actually happening with them. Um, but again, it just demonstrates the variety of different content that is within the resource. And again, you have all of the same facilities with this particular article. If I want to jump back to those results at the top here, I've got a button which will just take me back to those results so that I can go on to the next one and see whether that is something that is of interest to me at this point. That is a very brief summary of how the resource works. Now, obviously, as you apply your own research to it, you will be able to find more articles. I've just picked a, I've shown how the events and how the basic search work. Obviously, if I head back to um, the front page and if I decided actually do you know what I want to search for that again, but actually I'm only interested in, say, pick a year, 1955. And hit start. Then because I've chosen it from around the world, you can see I've only got anything from 1955, but actually I've got 42,000 different documents because I've got talk from China, from Moscow, from Israel, um, from Vietnam because I've searched for guerrilla. So you can imagine if you've got somebody searching guerrilla warfare and guerrilla action across the world in different theatres, it's quite a good way to pick that up in a particular year or a particular theatre or time period. Has that, has that helped? Has that made it clear how the interface works? I think it's a very self-explanatory interface. Um, 